first upgrades we're going to do to the Airstream is put in a, a cellular booster. And the problem I have is, I don't know what everyone else does, but here's our main sort of where we're going to have all electronics. We already have like the HDMI switch and the stereo, but in here I want to put the stuff for the Wi-Fi booster, the cell booster, etc. The antenna goes on a roof, so I need to get the wire from here up into the roof. And you, know, you can see it's kind of curved here. So really the, uh, the tenon is going to be up here somewhere, wherever, somewhere up here. And so I can't just drill straight out here. I don't want to have it come out the side. I want to drill in, in here and then thread the wire up and then have the out exterior hole somewhere up here. But there's ribs and stuff in here that you might have to get through. And none of that, I don't know what everyone else actually does. I've seen some people wire it through the refrigerator vent, but like, it seems like it's a pretty common problem. Like, why don't, you know, and I can't believe I can't find that much stuff on the internet about people who have done this already. So my plan is to drill a small hole right here to start with. Um, and then I have a little endoscope, a little camera. I'm going to stick in there. I know there's insulation and stuff in there, but see if I can see if there's a rib or a hole I can get through in the rib to wire it all the way up. Um, as far as I can, so we'll see. Uh, brand new Airstream, it kind of makes me a little nervous, but uh, progress waits for no man, so. So to drill the hole in the aluminum, uh, I'm using one of these little, I think they're titanium, one of these little bits. Actually, this big one I already put on here. This allows me to drill it at kind of any size, any step size in there, so I'll probably do like a half inch hole or so. A good looking hole. Now to get my endoscope. So I drilled the hole. Now I got my little endoscope camera, which you can see. I can just kind of maybe I'll stick in the hole and see what's in there on my computer screen. Let's just get this right here where I can see it. So I drilled that hole in this little cabinet. This is next to my stereo where I want to put the um, Wi-Fi booster and the cell booster. I want to have them in here. And I drilled this hole hoping that I could thread a wire up there and up through the ceiling to about here and then out the top where it would mount to the uh, a junction box and then the antennas. And I knew there was a rib going horizontally this way. Um, I was hoping that in the rib there were, per, you know, it was webbed so I could like thread the wire through. But I stuck my little endoscope cam up in the hole and checked it on my computer. And sure enough, I could see the uh, the rib up there, but there's no holes at all. There's nowhere to get a wire through. So that's kind of a bummer. So what I did is this hole is no good for now. I don't know if maybe you'll use it in the future, but I went and bought these little aluminum plugs. So, and it fits perfect in here. So, almost as good as new, it just looks like a big rivet. So now I'm gonna do something more dangerous, which is, instead I am gonna drill right here in the ceiling, in the middle of the common area here. Um, and, because there's a rib here, and there's a rib down here, I'll drill, be drill between it. The wires will come down, I'm gonna get a little, one of those little cover plates that kind of covers it up and turns them on a 90 degree angle and then it'll go in the top of the cabinet right here. But it'll be pretty unobtrusive, I think. Um, the dangerous part is once I drill in here, there's duct work and wires and other stuff. I gotta make sure I don't hit anything. So I'm gonna be careful. Um, and then drill in through the roof and then put the box in, so. All right, so I finished drilling both my holes. I had to make... Oh, music! Just a 
minute. I had to make one of them a little bit bigger because for the Wi-Fi booster, I actually have to get this USB cable through. So that'll fit through that. This one is smaller. It's just a coaxial cable. And then here the helper. What do you want, music? Oh, oh shoot. Watch out. Don't step on that. You're going to break it. Break that ice thing here. Okay, um, and then I just went and punched uh, with a screwdriver just a little point up to the ceiling on the roof. So now I can go up on a roof and see exactly where I have to drill through. But before I do that, this is the junction box I'm going to put up on the roof. So I'm going to use this, uh, I forget the name of it. Esta, whatever. Some, it's like the sealant tape, super sticky, double bonds on both sides, and it's going to go around the perimeter, and then this is going to go down on the roof up, up top. All right, so here we are on the roof of the Airstream, and you can see the two little dimples where I kind of just punched it up from beneath, so I know where to drill. So this is where I'm going to put my junction box. So I got to drill two holes in here, and the junction box is going to sit on top of that. So here's my. Brand new Airstream. About to get two new holes in the ceiling. Which I don't know why everyone's so afraid to do this, but maybe I'm just stupid. Chop. And then this one's got to go one bigger. Yep. And there she blows. Yep, very loud, Pork Chop. It's a pretty clean hole. Alright, got one drilled. Mark the other hole, and now I gotta drill the other one. Alright, so I got the holes drilled in the junction box. So now I'm ready to glue this thing down. So it's just gonna make sure the roof is nice and clean. Just a little. Guy's gonna sit right on there and have those holes line up like so. So I got this that tape on here. So now we just peel off plastic. That stuff is sticky. Okay, now. Right on there. Okay. Get that nice tight on there. Me? No, I'm talking to my video camera. Let's <laughs> see. in there. Now, I think I'm just gonna caulk all around the seams here as well. So let me go get the caulking gun for that. All right, so to seal around the junction box on the roof, I got Silkaflex 221, and I also have this Dicor lap sealant. And I don't know, reading on the internet, it sounds like both of them can be used and both are good. I mean, I don't really, I don't have any experience with either. So um, I'll probably stick with the Sika. To start with, I'll try this out and see how it goes. So, let's 
check on that tomorrow and see how it is. I'll get the hose up here and do a little spray test tomorrow. All right, now, here we go. There's my little junction box. I still have to drill holes in the sides for, I'm not sure where I'm gonna mount the antenna, so we'll come back to that. But for now and for tonight, let me just mount the cover back on so we don't get any rain in there. This will probably end up being right where I wanna put a solar panel in the future. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. Hopefully not. And there we go. And there it is. Junction box on top of my new airstream with a couple of holes through the roof. Um, I couldn't find any video online at all of anyone drilling holes in their airstream roof. I don't know why. It doesn't seem like that big of a deal. There's tons of holes already, and I mean, I've I've put I've built houses and drilled holes in roofs and flashed and trimmed and everything else. It's not a big deal if you just make sure water doesn't get in there. So this will be good. I'll be able to wire my antennas and anything else through here, anything that goes to the stereo area anyway. So this is the cell booster antenna that needs to be mounted on the roof. And they just give you this little bracket that they, they screw on it, you know. And what they intend is for you to attach this bracket to say the stairs or the ladder rather that goes up your RV, but I don't have a ladder. And I need to just mount it on top of the roof. So what I did is I bought a little PVC T that I'm bolting to the bracket and it's got a thread in it. And then I just went and got some three quarter PVC and put a male and female end on it. And this is the little uh, boat thing I got. It's for it's for a marine thing, I guess, for whatever antennas or whatever. And so we're just going to screw this on that. And I'll be able to raise and lower this, and then the other end gets screwed right in there. So I got the Wi-Fi. I'm not the Wi-Fi. The cellular booster mounted on with their little bracket on this, you know, piece of tubing PVC. I threaded the wire through there comes down to this, and so I have to mount this on the roof. So to do that, I got a piece of PVC that I cut with some beveled edges and drilled some holes. We're gonna screw that on there, and then that whole thing is gonna get glued or rather taped down onto the top of the Airstream. All right, so ready to mount this. I cleaned this, the roof. Now I'm just gonna peel the, the sticky stuff off here, or the plastics, and then Throw it down. You know how to try to get it straight. Straight as can be. Alright, so you can see here's the cell phone booster. It gets laid down, I guess, when we drive, and I can lock it in place with this, but it can still bounce and obviously scratch the roof, so. I've got these rubber cable guides that you use inside to organize your cables. So I'm just gonna use one of these long ones instead, stick it on underneath there to just buffer, you know, to keep it from scratching the roof. I peeled off the sticky backing that this thing came with and put on that heavy duty stuff that I've used for everything else here, so. All right, so this thing is basically gonna go right there. Now, rest on that rubber, lock it in place. For the drive, and hopefully that'll be good. Then arrive at the campsite, grant I'll have to use a ladder. I'll have to raise my wife, I want to raise it up. And there we go. So now, next step is wiring it into the junction box. I'm gonna go get the drill. All right, so I drilled a hole in the box. I got this little, whatever, cable connector. Now we're gonna 
thread this guy through here. All right, so thread that in there. Now I just you get this guy here that tightens on here and makes a nice tightens around this rubber grommet in there, and then in theory you have a, a watertight connection. I'll have to check that again with a hose or something just to make sure, but I think it's pretty good. Oh, in the box after a nice big rainstorm was nice and dry in here, so no water in, no water inside or anything, so. And we have enough play here to put this guy up. So that looks good. Now I have to just wire it down into the Airstream itself. All right, so last night, whew, actually a little cold in here this morning. Last night, I finished putting the cell boost antenna up top. We threaded it down through the hole here. And so now I'm going to drill a hole in the top of the cabinet and bring the wire down in here. So the antenna on the roof will come down and attach to this little Wii Boost box that's going to be plugged through an outlet here. And then this thing will attach to an interior antenna to rebroadcast the signals inside the Airstream. Um, this, I just did some experimentation. If I put it in the cabinet and just leave it in here and the cabinet's closed, you know, it's not that great. So what I've done is I drilled a hole in the back of the cabinet here. And I'm going to bring the wire down and I'm going to mount this external antenna right here. Just hang it down, kind of unobtrusive. Um, and to get the stick up there, I'm going to try out this, uh, I want two rolls of Velcro tape. So I'm going to put a piece on this and then see how that holds. If it doesn't hold well, I don't know, bouncing down the street, if it falls off, we'll see. We'll see how good it works. All right, so I'm almost done with the whole installation. Um, the only thing I've left now is I'm waiting for this piece to come in that's going to a cover plate that's going to hide these wires that come in here but um, and this is for the uh, Wi-Fi booster I haven't I haven't installed yet that's next but I got to put a little cover plate on that this goes into the box in here and in here I've got it comes in it connects to the uh, the Wii Boost which is plugged in um, and I have this thing on Velcro it's just Velcro up here hopefully it holds I'm using Velcro for a lot of these things because I just don't know where ultimately they're going to stay. I have to install a bunch of other things. And once I see everything that I have, maybe I want to move it around. I don't know. So right now it's just on Velcro sitting there. And then the interior tenor goes down through here. And there it is right there. Just sitting right there, Velcroed up to the ceiling. And I tested it out and it works great. Um, I get full bars inside the Airstream here where without it, I get say two or, th or three. I think I get three. I got pretty good. It's pretty good reception here anyway, but it looks like it's working good. So almost done. Just one more piece. And there it is. I got the cover plate in. So that's it. That comes in from the, from the roof. Just looks like another little whatever on the ceiling and comes in here and all done. So, next uh, next project is the Wi-Fi booster, which will come into that through that same uh, same hole.